pretty good about knowing how to prune trees and shrubs, but what about palms? Do they have special pruning requirements? Our Florida Yards and Neighborhoods Coordinator, Jennifer Ramos, is full of information about how to prune palms. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, Celeste. Jennifer, are palms pruned routinely? They are. A lot of people don't like to see the dead material, uh, the leaves hanging onto the palm. But palms have special nutritional needs, don't they? They do. And there's a problem when it comes with pruning with palms that have nutritional uh, problems. The one of the most common problem is magnesium deficiency, and you'll see that on the lower leaves. It'll turn yellow with some uh, green uh, veinage. And the problem is if you prune those leaves off, the palm is drawing nutrients, magnesium, from those leaves. So if you prune those off, the tree now has to take nutrients from further up in the crown. So it's really recommended that you keep those leaves that are showing nutrient deficiencies on. So we see palms out in nature and they have like a cabbage palm, our state tree, has a full head, a full head, but the bottom part is yellowy and orangey and then turns to brown. Right. So that is showing the nutrient deficiency, isn't it? Well, sometimes, usually when it has the nutrient deficiency, the leaves stay up higher in the palm and they usually stay uh, erect and attached. When they're dying, they tend to uh, lean closer to the palm base and kind of hang close to the palm. And that is a natural process that palms go through to shed their leaves. So there is kind of a difference. But yes, palms need to have that full crown. A lot of people prune them to where there's only three or four leaves coming out of the top. And that can actually lead to problems as well as not look very well. Yes, and it really can lead to real nutritional problems. It can cause pencil pointing. They call narrowing Correct. of the trunk uh, because all because of a nutrient deficiency. So how often should we prune the palms? What kind of leaf should we take off a palm? Well, you can prune palms at any time of the year. Usually you do it when you see the palm leaves that are hanging close to the trunk. And those are the ones that you can prune off. Now, a lot of palms have their leaves coming out of the top, which is a terminal growing point. You want to imagine a horizontal line going through that top portion where the leaves are coming out. That's where you can prune everything below that line. Try to leave everything above that line intact. So they call it, if it, we were looking at a clock, it would be 3 and 6 o'clock. 3 and 6 o'clock. Um, 3 and 3 9, nine o'clock. 3 and 9 o'clock. And so that horizontal line, so at least we have a semicircle or, yes. or half. Because really, the more leaves we leave on, the better. Right, the healthier the palm. And so really, uh, the recommendation sometimes is just to prune off brown leaves. Yeah, just prune off the dead leaves. That's all you really need to get rid of. And if you wish, you can also prune off the, the flower, the inflorescences, and the, and the seeds. But a lot of people choose to leave them on. So are we ready to prune this brown leaf we off? We are. It is totally brown, so I think we could be safe in pruning it off. Okay. And so we're pruning. How close are you getting to the trunk? You want to leave, you want to get close to the trunk, but you want to try and leave some of those, those lower pieces on, kind of the boot. Mm -hmm. So we'll prune it right about there. Good. And so really the rest of these leaves have lots of green, so they're still having nutrients right. for the palm. And we wouldn't really prune them off unless they were in the way of something, something of like course. that. Of course. And even hurricane pruning. Uh, real hurricane pruning is simply taking off the dead fronds because research has shown that even in hurricane situations, the green fronds that are attached add to the stability of the palm. And the ones that were hurricane pruned where they only had a couple of leaves left on them, mm -hmm. those actually snapped off and then became projectiles. And I think we may need to make some distinction. Some palms are planted in that hurricane cut, like sable palms, Correct. for instance, only leave the one terminal bud. But pruning them that way really is detrimental to the palm. Correct. Very detrimental. And some palms actually have a crown shaft, which is a smooth green area. A lot of foxtail palms, for example, have those. Mm -hmm. And those are actually self-cleaning. So you'll see some of the fronds, the lower fronds, start to turn brown. And in about three days, they'll fall off automatically when, they get to a, when the palm gets to a certain age. And then how close, what about the boots? Do we leave the boots on? These are the old leaf bases. Yeah, those actually add to the stability of the palm and there's really no need to take those off. And some palms, like sable palms, are heavily booted. Some right. Washingtonia palms have the big skirt. You know? Right, and some people like to leave those skirts on. Some people do. Well, Jennifer, thank you for all your information about pruning palms. You're welcome. 
Wait as long as you can before pruning off a green palm leaf so that the palm can use as much of the nutrients as possible. I'm guessing your pruning shears are nice.